Hello, I think most of you have seen me out there tonight. Um, I'm Nikki. I am the president of Sinfonia's Orchestra Council, uh, and I will be introducing the first piece. First of all, I would like to thank you all for doing this assigned seating thing. It's worked out really well last time, and we earned about $550 just through your donations, and we got to get new bows, um, a new bass that we just got today, and a lot more exciting music that we will be playing in the years from now. Without further ado, I will introduce our first piece, the theme from Avengers. The Avengers theme was conceived by Alan Silvestri from, for the major motion picture, The Avengers. It's fast paced, dramatic, and extremely familiar to those who have watched the films from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This arrangement by Larry Moore is slightly shorter, but retains all the excitement and energy from the original composition. The composer of this piece, Silvestri, is a well-regarded figure in the film score world, and he has composed iconic soundtracks like Forrest Gump, the Back to the Future tril trilogy, and even the animated film, The Croods. The Sinfonia, please. My name is Kylie Malian, and I am introducing uh, our next piece, which is called Libertango. Libertango is a piece composed by Astor Piazzolla in 1974 in Milan, Italy. The title Libertango is a portmanteau, meaning two words merged together into one word, which merges, which merges the Spanish word libertad, meaning liberty, and tango, symbolizing Piazzolla's break from classical tango to tango nuevo. Classical tango, or just tango music, is a style of music that originated among European immigrant populations of Argentina and Uruguay in the 19th century. Tango Nuevo music is a form of music in which new elements are incorporated into the traditional tango music. Um, now, many of you may remember me introducing one of our pieces last concert. So to continue with my trend of giving helpful life tips based on the song I am pre presenting, I hope you are all eating your flax seeds. Um, I, would, I, would, 
I would like to shed some light on different uh, dance moves. When I first found out I was introducing this piece, I immediately considered walking up to the microphone doing a little shimmy shoulders or cha-cha step, but quickly discovered those moves are not tango. In fact, they are salsa. Now, because I know you all will want to know this later in your life, I would like to tell you the difference between salsa and tango. The salsa dance originated in the Caribbean and the cha-cha-cha and mambo are popular movements in that. Whereas the tango, on the other hand, is a partner dance and it's very sexy with sharp and dramatic movements. So there you go, try both kinds out this summer because why not? Enjoy liver tango. <laughs>
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to present to you the me theme. So all your grandparents out there, I suggest you put your hearing aids on. All your parents out there, I suggest you get your phone video cameras on. This is a one and only performance of the me theme. Um, and we, are proud, we are proud to say, uh, announce that this arrangement is a successful representation of Maestro's first ever composition unit. Um, the me theme was a creative interpretation of the home page of the We Patio song, um, and it was arranged by Anthony Lee, Michael Chang, Lawrence Huang, and Thomas Chen. Um, so without a further ado, the me theme. I wrote out an orchestra by the numbers. This year, the International School Orchestra boasts 113 members. Um, there are four wonderful orchestras. Next year, there will be five because we're growing again. We've had three wonderful concerts and four very successful festival performances. We had one awesome trip to Disneyland. I hope you guys saw the uh, wonderful picture that we have outside of everybody that got to come with me this year. It was a great time. 
Um, and unfortunately, we have, and I actually miswrote this in the program, I wrote five, we actually have six wonderful seniors that are leaving us this year to Greener Pastures, AKA college. And I'd like for them to stand up right now or wave a bow or a hand or something. You might have already seen them. They are so festively dressed for our concert this evening. We have, unfortunately leaving us this year, we have Nikki Amini Nayini, Andrew Chor, Christina Ding, Nigel Trevetti, Abigail Wilney, and Dridi Yandapali. They will be greatly missed. All right, we have just a couple more. I wanted to just take another moment to thank you all so much for another fantastic year of music making. Your students have been so great to work with and it, it's growing, our program is growing and changing every year and it's getting a little better and I'm able to push them a little harder and it's been such a delight. And it's all because of you guys supporting your kids, making them take their instruments home to practice, pushing them to get uh, better on their seating auditions or showing up to tutorial. So again, um, just thank you all so much. It looks like we're just getting the last couple of people on stage here. We almost ready, guys? If you can believe it, I have crammed 113 of your students on this stage right now. just saw somebody wander off stage. There we go. It's in a stand there. Thanks, Nigel. See, this is why I'm going to miss the seniors. They're so helpful with stuff like that. are missing a stand. I promised, this is why I had them come at five so that we could rehearse this exact moment right here. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so without much further ado, can't stop the feeling.
Actually, before I begin, can we just give one last round of applause for Ms. Zalarski, our orchestra teacher. Seniors, most of us have been here for seven years, and this is honestly the best we've ever sounded, really. So, we wanted to thank our great orchestra teacher by giving her a gift. It's kind of IS orchestra tradition for seniors to give the teacher a gift. So, we got you flowers, and then we, since we know you like to bake, we got you an apron and some measuring spoons from Anthropology. <laughs> oh, and some chocolate. <laughs> I've only had to say goodbye to 10 of you so far, and it gets harder every time. Um, but again, thank you all so much for coming. Um, so many of you contributed a lot of wonderful food, so please join us for a uh, short reception in the comments. Thank you so much.